Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dan. Doing a really quick reaction video today because somehow, by some miracle, I've managed to miss a couple of items that were released quite a while ago that I have gone right under the radar. And what surprises me the most about this is they are the exact kind of props that I would usually be all over like a rash. So I just thought I would catch up with myself. It's very early in the morning. I've not long been up. So excuse me if I don't look the tidiest. <laughs> not that I ever do. I just thought I wanted to react to this really quickly because it looks really good from the thumbnail and it's the exact sort of thing I would usually be fully, fully excited about. The prop I'm talking about is actually being brought into the UK by Palmer Agencies. You might remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, I did a quick video about Palmer Agencies, two props they were bringing into the UK as UK exclusives. The unfortunate prop of the Sparkle Witch, which if you remember from that video, not overly impressed by, and also, Another prop that I was quite impressed by called the Floating Phantom. Uh, recently, Palmer Agencies have put out new versions of these videos showing off these props in slightly higher quality. And I have to say, even the Sparkle Witch looked a little bit better in this particular video they brought out. But, something I'm not really interested in. But recently, I've seen a couple of other YouTubers putting out this video about this particular prop and one other. And I just thought I want to get on this bandwagon and have a look at this prop because it looks just like the sort of thing I'd usually be really into. So let's do this. So the video is simply listed as video 6633V, entertaining, but it features a reaper, which is exactly why this is a prop for me. The picture, the thumbnail looks really, really good, so let's just check this out. Okay. Bad video quality again, can't really hear what he's saying. Mm, the face movement's not great. But it looks pretty good. Like the overall look. Like the skull in the hand. It's lit up as well. That's really cool. I like the red light in the chest. Looks really good too. The costume looks fine. Really good Reaper look. If the video quality was better, I think this guy would look better. But generally, pretty good. And that's that. The other video I just wanted to react to really quickly is one that was released the other day, which says skeleton with digitize. Now, I don't know, is this a static prop? I hope it's not a static prop, but let's have a little look. Okay, so it's static. <laughs> Silence. It's okay. <laughs> the skeleton even looks like it's sat there going, why am I here? What is this life? Why am I posed this way? Why is he with, why has he got white glasses? I don't, okay. Okay, I don't think we need to see any more of this. So those two props were both pretty good in their own way. I really, really liked that Reaper. I think the movement in the face was could be better. It was clearly moving its jaw, but the whole face moved every single time it did. I don't know whether that's, I don't know, just like cheap latex there or something, I'm not quite sure. But generally, costume great. I love the light up, the red chest, the red in light in the little skull that he was holding. Looked like a really good Reaper. Only looks like about a six foot prop, so it's nothing special as such. Simple, simple movement and simple animatronics. Hard to really hear what he was saying in that video. The quality isn't the greatest, so I'll be hoping that at some point Palmer Agencies release a slightly better video of that. But really good, generally. I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. Then there is the other one we just looked at, the Skeleton with Digit Eyes, which... 
that's exactly what it was. It was a skeleton with digit eyes. There's not a lot to say about it. It was just one of those skeletons with digit eyes. It didn't say anything. It didn't do anything. It was clearly a pretty good looking quality wise poseable skeleton. You could do all sorts of stuff with skeletons like that. And I love a poseable skeleton. So he was just a poseable skeleton. There's nothing much more to say about him. He looked really good. The eyes, I love digit eyes. I love a poseable skeleton, but I don't quite know why it had to be a 48 second video of him just sat there with a glass of wine and digit eyes. But who, you know, maybe he was a skeleton that really liked a glass of wine. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today, guys. It was just a really quick one because I just wanted to have a little look at these props and see what they were all about. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.